Elijah and Mount Horeb. Again, to remind you that uh, uh, I filmed the story several years ago when I was in Taiwan. I hope you're enjoying some of the scenery there. That was really a good trip. This story, as I look at it, this is a, uh, a lesson that I have had to learn myself. I, uh, I know that Years ago, I found out that once I go through a kind of a mountaintop experience, have a, have a great victory or, or have an exciting time, that afterwards I'm going to go into a low time. My children grew up hearing me always talking about an after high low. <laughs> and that always helped me to realize that uh, I could just expect to have a time of kind of, uh, a, kind of a low time and just plan on it. Well, this story right here teaches us certain lessons of how, how God dealt with this great prophet. Here he had such a huge victory on, on Mount Carmel, and now he is so depressed. So how did God handle that? First thing we see here that he just needed to get alone, just needed to get away from the crowd, left his prophet behind, went out in the wilderness and just got alone for a while. Able to, able just to sleep. That, that's the second thing. He needed rest. God provided him food, water, and, and, and bread, and rest. And, that's, and, that's, and God did not hurry him, just let him sleep. And then he needed to get away. I find that's often the best for me is when I, uh, sometimes I just need to get up and travel. And now, now when God had him get away, that was exercise too. I mean, he had to walk for 40 days. That was a long way, several hundred miles. And so he needed to get alone, he needed to get away, and he needed to rest. But also he needed to see that God cared. And God was patient. They showed him that God cared. Patient up to a point. And then God realized the next thing he needs is new objectives, new goals, a new, a new assignment. And God gave him that. And once he was there, Elijah went off and, and uh, continued the, the, the work of God. A couple little things about this uh, story. Mount, Mount Horeb is what we know as Mount Sinai. And, uh, as you've heard me say before, Mount Sinai is not in the Sinai uh, Desert, but uh, in the Sinai Peninsula, but it's actually in Saudi Arabia. And so he was traveling about 200 miles going out of uh, uh, Judah because he went from Israel down to Judah and down into the, into the Negev Desert and then on down into, into Saudi Arabia to uh, Mount Sinai. Now, Elijah's cloak, he put that over e e e e Elisha. That was a sign of succession. That was a sign that you are going to take over in time. And interesting, the cloak was the only thing that Elijah truly, the only physical thing, the only material thing that Elijah left Elisha. Great story. Come back next week when we continue on with uh, story insights on the story of the week. We'll see you next week.